We know that if humans can travel faster than the speed of light, it could revolutionize our understanding of the universe and benefit the human race in countless ways. But we haven't found a way to do that yet. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating concept of the Alcubierre drive and delve into the top six problems we might encounter if we ever attempt to build a warp drive. Join us on this journey through the challenges and possibilities of faster-than-light travel. In 1994, theoretical physicist Miguel Alcubierre proposed a groundbreaking concept known as the Alcubierre Drive, which explores the idea of achieving apparent faster-than-light travel. This speculative concept is rooted in a unique interpretation of Einstein's field equations, describing the interplay of space, time, and energy. The Alcubierre Drive's core principle involves the manipulation of space-time by contracting space in front of a spacecraft while simultaneously expanding space behind it. The theoretical basis for this idea hinges on the assumption that it might be possible to create a configurable energy density field with a lower energy density than that of a vacuum, effectively implying negative mass. It's crucial to understand that the Alcubierre drive, while an intriguing concept, faces significant challenges when it comes to practical implementation. The theoretical framework implies the necessity of exotic matter with specific properties or the manipulation of dark energy. Without the existence of such exotic matter or the ability to manipulate dark energy, constructing the drive as envisioned may prove unattainable. In 2021, Harold G. White of the Limitless Space Institute claimed to have created a warp bubble, seemingly taking a step closer to realizing the Alcubierre drive. However, it's important to note that while the Alcubierre metric aligns with Einstein's equations, general relativity does not account for the nuances of quantum mechanics. Some physicists have raised concerns, suggesting that a theory of quantum gravity might eliminate certain solutions within general relativity that allow for backward time travel, potentially rendering the Alcubierre drive invalid. This highlights the ongoing debate and challenges surrounding the feasibility of this fascinating concept. But anyway, how does one go about warping space? We already know that mass, as demonstrated by Arthur Eddington in 1919, is responsible for warping space-time. In the case of the Alcubierre drive, a super-thin shell of material resembling an eggshell maintains the integrity of space-time both within and outside the bubble. This material, despite its thinness, distorts space-time just right, creating the required effect around the ship. The brilliance of this concept lies in the fact that while mass cannot accelerate beyond the speed of light, space-time itself doesn't adhere to such restrictions. This means that the central region housing passengers could, theoretically, travel at arbitrarily high speeds. As thrilling as this idea might be, it's crucial to take a moment to recognize that the mere existence of a solution doesn't guarantee the physical feasibility of the Alcubierre drive. Yet, general relativity doesn't outright forbid such a machine, offering a glimmer of hope. However, it's essential to approach this topic with caution. In the realm of YouTube, these ideas can often be sensationalized, making it challenging to discern their true scientific merit. So in this video, we're going to delve into the six primary challenges that stand between us and realizing the Alcubierre drive. Join us for a comprehensive exploration of this fascinating concept. Before we continue, if you're finding this video as engaging as we do, we'd love to have you as a subscriber to our channel Science with Lou. Your support keeps us motivated to bring you more thought-provoking content. So, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and join our growing community. One of the initial hurdles facing the Alcubierre drive was the colossal energy it demanded. Early estimates proposed energy requirements that exceeded the mass of the observable universe 
by several orders of magnitude. However, a glimmer of hope emerged when physicist Chris van den Breck modified the warp bubble's shape, reducing the energy needed to a mere three solar masses. While this is still an astronomical amount of energy, the progress from ten universes down to just three stars is undeniably inspiring. It suggests that with further research and refinement, we might find a way to make this concept more practical. One of the challenges related to the ultra-thin shell of material used in the drive involves its remarkable proximity to the Planck length in width. To put this into perspective, the Planck length is believed to be the smallest measurable length in the universe, a fundamental scale at which known physics begins to break down, resembling a quantum foam. This presents a monumental technical challenge as we venture into the realm where the very fabric of space and time behaves in mysterious ways. However, it's essential to note that our current understanding of physics doesn't outright prohibit such an endeavor. Instead, it classifies it as an incredibly sophisticated engineering challenge. As we dive deeper into the concept of the Alcubierre drive, another hurdle emerges in the form of exotic matter. This exotic matter, which requires negative energy or negative mass, violates the weak energy condition in general relativity. The weak energy condition stipulates that all time-like observers must observe a positive energy density. The violation of this condition implies the existence of negative energy or mass, which we term as exotic matter. One ray of hope in this exotic matter challenge comes from the Casimir effect, which demonstrates negative energy pressure due to the quantum vacuum effect. However, it's essential to understand that this negative energy is relative to the background vacuum energy. If we were to remove the vacuum energy, the negative aspect would disappear. This raises uncertainties about its practical application for warping space. In recent years, a series of papers have challenged the notion that Alcubierre drives inevitably violate the weak energy condition. However, this issue remains controversial and we're yet to reach a consensus on its feasibility. While there are intriguing discussions and potential solutions, this challenge continues to linger. Sergei Krasikov brought forth a significant issue concerning the Alcubierre drive, the horizon problem. According to Krasikov, occupants within the warp bubble would have no means to control, steer, stop, or interact with the outside world. The occupants are confined within their bubble, unable to reach the front of the bubble. This problem is akin to the concept of horizons in cosmology. When you cross the event horizon of a black hole, there's no turning back. You're cut off from the universe outside. The implications of this horizon problem are profound, suggesting that achieving an Alcubierre drive isn't as simple as just building a self-contained spaceship. Instead, we might need some form of pre-existing infrastructure, perhaps a massive tube with negative energy field generators strategically placed along its length to enable warp travel. While it might sound like an engineering challenge, it's one that demands incredible sophistication. As we continue our exploration of Alcubierre drive challenges, we encounter another significant issue, radiation. Imagine a photon or a high-speed particle cruising through space when the Alcubierre drive approaches from behind. Just like a snowplow accumulating snow, the drive collects these particles in its front bubble and drags them along at superluminal speeds. If we replace the photon with a particle or an astronaut, they would become time-locked during the journey, experiencing minimal time passage. However, once the ship arrives at its destination and stops, all the particles caught in its front scoop are released with significantly more energy, capable of obliterating entire planets. This is hardly the peaceful entry imagined in science fiction. 
What's more concerning is the radiation generated within the warp bubble itself. Hawking radiation, akin to what occurs near black holes, emerges due to quantum pair production effects along the bubble's rim. The thermal flux upon the ship and its crew reaches a staggering temperature, the likes of which haven't been seen since the Big Bang itself. 10 to the power of 32 Kelvin. This thermal flux poses a severe challenge, potentially causing the warp bubble to collapse almost immediately upon creation. Finding a solution to this problem is of paramount importance for the feasibility of the Alcubierre drive. The Alcubierre drive introduces a conundrum known as the chicken and egg problem. In essence, the drive requires a warp of space-time, but achieving this warp doesn't guarantee superluminal motion or faster-than-light travel. To achieve superluminal motion, the matter distribution that induces this warp must move at superluminal speeds, at least in part. The challenge is that to cause the required warp around the inner protected region of flat space-time, some of the exotic matter must extend beyond that region. And according to our current understanding, all matter outside this inner region cannot move faster than the speed of light. This dilemma creates a paradox. You need the warp to achieve superluminal motion, but achieving superluminal motion is contingent on the warp. Some theoretical solutions suggest allowing the distribution of exotic matter to expand into a tail at the back, like an exotic matter contrail. However, it remains uncertain whether this is practically possible. The Catch-22 problem complicates the journey to a working warp drive. The final challenge we'll explore is the issue of causality violations. The Alcubierre drive has the potential to create closed time-like curves, or CTCs, enabling backward time travel. This, in turn, can lead to paradoxes, like the infamous grandfather paradox, where one uses a warp drive to travel back in time, altering the past and creating contradictions. Remarkably, general relativity doesn't explicitly prohibit backward time travel, but it raises questions about the predictability of physics. Stephen Hawking proposed the chronology protection conjecture, suggesting that quantum effects would prevent time travel, possibly destroying the time machine. While this conjecture isn't without merit, it hasn't been definitively proven. To save the Alcubierre drive from this problem, one solution might be to forego the pursuit of faster-than-light travel and focus on subluminal warp drives, where the risks of causality violations are minimized. Alternatively, we could explore alternatives like the continuous tube of warp space-time or the Einstein-Rosen wormhole. In conclusion, the Alcubierre drive presents us with a fascinating intellectual playground. It has inspired many and sparked countless discussions. While the challenges it poses are formidable, they have fueled our curiosity and motivated us to explore new frontiers of physics. It's important to recognize that achieving interstellar travel is still possible, albeit with limitations such as time dilation effects and the need for patience. The quest for shortcuts and innovative solutions to navigate the cosmos keeps us excited and engaged. While the Alcubierre drive might seem like a long shot, it's a reminder that science is full of surprises and we should always be on the lookout for loopholes in the fabric of the universe. So keep searching for those opportunities and stay curious. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the challenges of the Alcubierre Drive. If you found this video as captivating as we did, please consider subscribing to Science with Lou. Your support motivates us to keep exploring the wonders of the universe. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and let's embark on this scientific adventure together.